Welcome back guys in a new video, this time for a super shoe, the Adios Pro version 3. I know I'm a bit late with the review, but I was using so far the version 2 and it was great, so let's check it out. You gon' see me end this, I will be ascending I don't ever slack, I got my eyes on a prize What I see for my life, I don't float, no I fly Do or die, cause you gotta do or die There ain't no compromise, get ready for a fight Do you wanna see what you're made of? What if there was no one to save us? Would you leave it all on the pavement? So as usual, let's check the specs The house saw, meat saw, and upper And finally my conclusions don't forget to leave a like if you like this content and to subscribe if you haven't yet. You are close to 1k subscriber. Very glad of it. Thanks for your support. Very appreciated. A bit heavier than the previous version, I guess, because the extra foam in the forefoot, which is a 3.5 millimeters higher, it has a lower drop of 6.5 millimeters. In the previous version, was 10 millimeters. The foam used is the Light Strike Pro, which is light, comfortable, and very bouncy more than the life strike it has the energy rods in carbon instead of the traditional torsion system and this version has an updated energy rods 2.0 which we will see in the midsole section also now if you look at the house so it looks pretty soft underneath your feet same rubber continental rubber uh, very durable in my previous version I run almost 400 kilometers and it's still in good conditions even though at the beginning uh, I estimated much less because it's very thin but still durable in this version of course the grip is pretty good and uh, yeah it's a bit different in the forefoot there's a different pattern it looks much more solid and uh, it gives you more comfort when you are pushing it's uh, less slippery than the previous version so very well done and of course you can notice also from the sound midsole now looking at the midsole of course it's brand new so it's much more bouncier than uh, the previous version but i had the impression like it is um, more trampoline effect than the previous version it is much wider than the previous version so it is like you have a bigger shoe in your feet uh, in this regard i appreciated more the previous version in the last version after 400 kilometers is still in good condition it's not that bouncy like this one but of course yeah you can also see the harshness of the form measured with the durometer in the table here as you can see, the Energy Rods 2.0 in carbon have the main purpose, uh, which is similar to carbon plates, uh, but uh, the principle of operation is completely different. They are kind of uh, an exoskeleton that amplifies and supports the movement of the foot uh, from landing to takeoff. In fact, it's not coincidence that uh, the design of the Energy Rods mimics the bone structure of the foot. This technology really amplify your movement rather than uh, forcing you to do something different so you always have a big energy return but it's very manageable at different paces and you can also see the difference with the previous version uh, now we have uh, one single piece uh, which ensures more stability about running dynamics collected uh, at seven different running paces from one to seven which is the fastest the main difference with the previous version is the vertical oscillation ratio which seems higher uh, in the Adios Pro 3 uh, at uh, the fastest paces, uh, so the shoe tends to propel you more up than uh, forward, while the response looks uh, better than the previous version. This behave is most likely due to the more foam and cushioning in the forefoot, which makes this version bouncier than the previous one, so less efficient as well. Upper now! In regard to the upper, it's pretty different than the previous version. It has a very nice uh, upper material just to ensure more stability. So it is not annoying, even aesthetically speaking, I like it. Luckily, it is not uh, too narrow in the forefoot because uh, when I have seen it 
uh, the first time I say, oh, okay, the forefoot looks narrow, uh, so it might be that my foot is not comfortable uh, in these shoes. Instead, it's still the same. It's true to sides. Uh, I feel very comfortable even in the heel counter. It's thin, but uh, the lockdown is perfect, I would say. And uh, yeah, the tank is thinner than in the previous version. There's no uh, extra padding. In the hopper, there is a different lezing system. So again, we see the rings that I'm not a fan of. Yeah, uh, especially for such shoe, performance shoe. I'm afraid these rings, as I'm always saying, guys, are not very reliable. So, in this regard, uh, I prefer the lacing system in the previous version without any rings. The material used uh, for the hopper is pretty breathable, as you can see for the uh, photos here. Uh, also, in comparison with the Adios uh, Pro 2, uh, it looks still okay, but uh, it looks like the previous version is much more breathable. So, in conclusion, of course, this is a shoe, it's a super shoe uh, that is perfect for racing, especially in marathon. Uh, I would also use it for half marathon, maybe also 10k, maybe not for a 5k, I would use something more uh, lower to the ground, uh, like uh, the Adios 7 for instance. Yeah. I believe it's more stable than the previous version because it's wider in the heel and also in the forefoot, so even for slow running, uh, give you the comfort that uh, with the previous version was uh, a bit less, especially when you when you are talking about slow running, uh, because it was not that stable like like this one. But uh, on the other end, uh, a wider missile meaning a more friction uh, with the concrete. So. In terms of performance, I believe the previous one was much better in this regard. But you know, it's always a trade-off between stability and performance, so it is what it is. Of course, you can use this shoe also for training, especially tempo run, uh, yeah, maybe interval trainings, uh, but it's very expensive, guys, so I would not suggest it uh, for training. Uh, because yeah it costs 250 euro so not sure if it's uh, worth to use in uh, uh, during trainings in general I would say this is a nice shoe uh, I'm sure I will enjoy it as uh, uh, I did with the previous version uh, the only downside is that it's very expensive uh, so yeah it is what it is if you like this content Please don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe so you won't miss any new content. And as always, as always, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, keep running. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say